Alright, this is just going to be a quick uh, overview of how to use WebWork. Um, first, uh, you, should, you should see that um, uh, the, the course list here, so I'm, I'm logging into my Math 151 course. Uh, just put in your username and password. Uh, uh, currently, these both should be set to your net ID. So, um, for instance, if your name was John Smith, uh, that would be Smith dot uh, j o h n that's the way that net ids are formed uh, for both the username and then also smith dot john for the password um, i'm just going to log into my test account so you can see uh, what it looks like okay so we've logged into the uh, account here uh, a few things about this interface uh, if you want to change your password or email you can come up here and do that um, any uh, assignments that I have assigned should be right here and you, sh you should see uh, currently uh, this is the first week of the course so you should see web work one now open it tells you the due date so this is 10 p.m. on the 8th um, if you want you can download a hard copy to work on them and then after you figured the things out you can come back here and input them into web work or uh, you can just uh, click on the the web work uh, here and just go through it without ever uh, printing a hard copy. Um, so if I click on this, it's going to bring up a list of of all the problems. Uh, this homework set has uh, 26 problems in it, and uh, so here we go. Here are all 26 problems, and it tells me uh, the number of attempts that I've made. So on this first problem, I think I showed some people. Uh, how to do it and it's just keeping track of that uh, this uh, I'm not uh, the number of attempts you make has nothing to do with whether or not you get credit for doing this uh, although you know you could set web work up different ways uh, right now uh, and for this class you can make an unlimited number of attempts and uh, as long as you complete it uh, eventually uh, you'll get the full uh, value and the, all the problems are just worth one point I haven't valued the problems any differently um, if you ever want to see uh, some different symbols and things in web work, it's useful to click on this. Um, it will go through all of the different symbols that are being used. It's pretty standard uh, notation uh, with you know brackets and plus signs and everything. If you've used uh, graphing calculators and put in uh, functions into graphing calculators, you'll likely be comfortable uh, with this. Uh, so let me go to problem one and just talk through. Uh, how I would put in an answer to this problem. Uh, I'm finding that this interface is a little bit slower uh, when I'm off campus and a little bit faster when I'm on campus. I don't know if that has to do with the fact that I'm off campus or if there just are a lot more people using the web work uh, service right now and maybe we need to update our server. Um, so here's the, the problem. I'm not sure why it says question 7, but uh, that, that's just a carryover from the problem. It says give the domain and range of this function. Uh, what is the domain of h of x? Here's a little uh, help for using interval notation. So if I click on that, it will give me some information about um, using interval notation. Uh, so for instance, uh, if I want to type infinity, negative infinity, I can just write negative and then the word infinity. If I want to enter uh, positive infinity, I can put positive or just infinity itself. Um, and remember that for interval notation, uh, when we use parentheses, uh, that excludes the endpoints of the interval, uh, whereas square brackets include the endpoints. Um, and there's just a few more things. U means union. Uh, so let me go back. Uh, so let's just say, um, so the domain, what is the domain of this function? So let's say that I thought the domain of this function is uh, all real numbers. So I would do infinity comma infinity. And uh, the range, let's say, oh, I don't know what the range is. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, uh, negative infinity to uh, 7. So um, I'm going to submit these answers and let's see what I get. So this is going to tell me whether or not the things that I input are correct. And, uh, and if they're not, it will say that they're incorrect. And again, you can keep going back and putting this stuff in and changing it as much as you want. So you can see that the first answer that I gave, infinity, uh, uh, negative infinity to positive infinity is correct. Uh, the second is not. 
Um, I think you can also put in uh, just negative INF and INF for infinity. I don't think you actually need to put the whole word in, but I'll check that. Yeah, so it, it reads INF just as infinity. So now I would go back here and I would change the range uh, to f uh, until I figured out what it was. Uh, so what is the range of this function uh, is essentially the problem you're working on. Uh, let's go to a different one. So this is a little fill in the blank problem. Uh, let me go to problem two. Um, some of these problems will have graphs. Um, some of them will be fill in the blank. Others will be multiple choice. Um, the uh, the web work system uh, doesn't provide a lot of feedback other than correct or incorrect. But you can always feel free to call to uh, email me or contact me and let me know you're having an issue. Um, so this one is very similar to the last one. Let's go to problem three and see if that's different. All right, so problem three wasn't very different, but I switched to problem four. I just paused the video and switched to problem four because it is a little different. Uh, it has a graph, and it says, notice it says click to enlarge. So you can click on that, and it'll pop this little graph out that you can drag around and uh, make bigger. Uh, but it's also a uh, um, fill in the blank. So what is the domain of F? Uh, it gives you a little... Uh, sort of thing on equalities if you want to know how to input equalities. Uh, one thing you might not be used to uh, is that um, uh, so less than or equal can be written uh, like that with a less than sign and equal to. If you wanted to say does not equal uh, you use an exclamation point and an equal sign. Um, otherwise I think a lot of this is pretty pretty standard of, and you can certainly review through it and if you can't figure something out uh, just let me know. Um, let me look for one more problem that's a little bit different with uh, checkboxes. All right, uh, this one isn't quite checkboxes, but this is uh, problem 23. Um, and this one's got just drop downs. So you can select uh, different things for the drop down and then say submit. Okay. Um, I think one of these other problems that I just looked at had uh, a bit more to input on it. Um, so for notice for this one what they're doing is they're having you do different things with functions. So here we're adding f and g together, here we're finding the difference, here we're finding the product, and uh, what what you need to put in is the coefficient that would be in front of uh, x squared or in this case x to the fourth. Um, so that's still just sort of a fill in the blank. Here it's uh, filling out a table. Uh, so you've got a a function h that is um, actually the sum of two functions f and g and so uh, the uh, thing that you need to do is put in uh, what would uh, x of negative one be so h of x uh, sorry for uh, negative one and uh, so then you have to add these two functions together and figure out what the what the value is um, in this homework set uh, just looking through it I didn't see uh, a really a variety of any other types of problems I've just pretty much seen uh, these fill in the blanks and um, uh, a few uh, drop downs so uh, again that's just sort of a, a quick little overview of web work uh, when you get done you can come back over here to the little interface um, you can click on this and then you'll see okay so the first problem I messed around with um, and I had four attempts and uh, it looks like I've got it 50% complete that's because I did one of them uh, but I didn't finish the other one so this is a way that you can quickly go and check your progress uh, one thing I didn't mention you can also email me right from uh, the web work program and I've had a few people try this already and it works uh, so you can just click on email instructor and you can send an email and I believe it will um, it will include some information about uh, the the particular problem you were looking at and it might even tell me uh, what you were trying to, what were you were putting in inputting on the screen so if you find something where you, th you think maybe the problem is wrong uh, maybe the solution is wrong uh, you can let me know ab about it and I can go back in and check alright I hope this is helpful and again if you have any questions just send me an email